time. Oh, we belong in the playoffs. Now you got to go play some of the finest football teams in the country. You've got to fight and scratch and claw away, get back this opportunity. <laughs> All right, the matchups for the college football playoff are set, brought to you by AT&T. You saw it live on ESPN earlier today. Number one, Alabama gets number four, Oklahoma. Number two, Clemson will face number three, Notre Dame. Georgia and Ohio State were ranked fifth and sixth, respectively. Alabama opened as a 14-point favorite. Clemson, an 11.5-point favorite. Of course, you can catch those semifinal games December 29th on ESPN and the ESPN app. Now, Jonathan Vilma became a first-team All-American and won a national title during his college days at the University of Miami. So I say that because when it comes to talent, my man knows who's legit and who's not. So with that being said, yeah. did the committee get it right in terms of finding the four best teams, mm -hmm. not the four most deserving teams, mm -hmm. to go to the college football playoff? Yes, the committee got it right. They absolutely got it right by getting the four best teams teams in here we could talk about georgia possibly more talented than in oklahoma but they're not better than oklahoma georgia lost to the top two teams on their schedule in lsu and alabama which knocked them out all of these teams beat everybody on their schedule including oklahoma who avenged their loss to texas in the big 12 championship game good job by the committee congrats to them for not falling for the favorite pick and going for the better pick and the most deserving pick because a better team. Even though there are a couple of metrics, including the Vegas lines, that would say Georgia would be favored over all these other teams against uh, themselves, you still think they're better than Georgia. So, Michael, you want Vegas now to I didn't say that. Playoff. I'm saying there's other metrics. I, I just want to understand because schedule. Vegas, that's Vegas. Okay. We're talking about looking at these teams, looking at the eye test, and saying, are we going to reward teams for winning mm -hmm. or are we going to reward teams for losing? I'm not rewarding any team that lost to the two best teams on their schedule in Georgia. They lost to LSU. They lost to Alabama. They had Alabama on the ropes. Mm -hmm. They lost the game, period. End of story. Oklahoma, they won, period. The other ones won every game. Right. So there's no discussion, and because of that, Oklahoma should be in. So your results matter than your talent in terms of who's the better team in your mind. Say that one more time. Don't, don't try to confuse no, me over here, Mike. What are we going with this? matter than yes. talent in terms of determining who's the best team. Of you course. said Georgia may be more talented, but Oklahoma has a better. That's correct. Right. Winning matters. There yes. we go. Winning matters in the eyes of Jonathan Vilma. That's so correct. with that being said, we've got four here. We've got two versus three, one versus four. A lot of people thought Georgia had the best chance to beat Alabama if they played them head-to-head -head again. Mm -hmm. Based on what we have here now, who's the biggest threat to the side? There's no doubt going to be Clemson. When you look at Alabama, how they struggled against Georgia, they struggled with the running game. They struggled with a good quarterback in Jake Fromm, and then defense stepped up for Georgia. So you go to Clemson and you see, okay, who has the best D-line among all these groups? It's Clemson. Without question. Who has the best running game out of all these groups? It's going to be Clemson and Travis Etienne. And then we already know how good Trevor Lawrence is. So the Clemson poses the biggest threat. They get pressure on Tua. Tua likes to sit in there and go deep. He's not going to get that amount of time with the Clemson D-line. Watch that game. It's good. If it all pans out right. and those who are playing in a championship game, watch out for the Clemson D-line. Watch out for Travis Etienne running the ball and then Trevor Lawrence picking him apart. And as we mentioned, both Alabama and Clemson double-digit favors in their semifinal games against Notre Dame and Oklahoma, respectively. And you know who wants to see this matchup between Alabama and Clemson again? Alabama fans. They got some revenge they're trying to get back. Jonathan Vilma, appreciate it, man. Thanks, Mike. All right. Results also matter for the Houston Texans. Let's make it nine straight wins. We will have a live report from Houston following yet another W from the Texans. Other contenders, not so fortunate. Some head-scratching results, including one in Lambeau. We'll have a report on the Packers and Panthers as well. Next on this live edition of SportsCenter.